TVL and crypto is going a little crazy right now, but we're not even close to the parabolic time frame like we saw back in 2021 when the overall TVL in this market hit close to $260 billion. We are nearing $200 billion, but I do believe that this could very well hit $500 billion to possibly even $1 trillion over the course of the next couple of weeks and months ahead. And the reason why is because of tokenization. Now, as we do look at the categories broken down, we can see where most of the money is. In terms of TVL, the most of the amount of money around TVL is in liquid staking, lending, and bridges. With that in mind, I just want to quickly take a second out to welcome everyone to the channel. My name is Nick. I hope that by the end of this video, for all those newcomers, I hope that you become a subscriber. Now, with that being said, let's look at some of the other areas. So we can see this broken down into categories around, you know, bridging, liquid staking, yield services. And then we also have RWAs or real world assets. Now, as we look at this space and as we look at altcoin season, right? we are going to be looking at the narratives that have the most amount of money behind them. And we're not talking about in terms of TVL. No, we're talking about where all of the big players are looking to throw their money. And the RWA sector or tokenization sector is where a lot of focus is. And I do think that this narrative is going to get extremely hot over the course of the next couple of weeks because of what is happening right now around TradFi. Now, as we go back in time to 2021, we could see that DEXs were the leading amount of TVL sitting at about roughly almost $87 billion, lending sitting at almost $77 billion. And right now, as we look at RWAs, they are sitting at about roughly almost like $4 billion. They did hit a significant um, like $6 billion TVL mark just recently, but this is not even close to where we were back in 2021, which I do believe that we will get back to that point. Uh, we just need the markets to really kind of heat up in another large way, similar to 2021, which will ultimately be alt season, which I do believe we are on the cusp of. Now, if we go over here to RWA, the real world asset TVL, uh, like I said, we hit about roughly 6.3 billion back in October. Uh, right now, we're sitting at about roughly like 4.16 4 billion. And we can see all of the chains that are on here. Ondo being one of the biggest ones, Maker being the top one with TVL sitting at about roughly like 2.17 billion. Um, and we can see some of the other ones here. Now, with this in mind, I want to share with you guys five RWA projects that are going to absolutely kill it this alt season. I'm going to give you guys reasons why. But before we get into that, RWAs are going to be red hot because of what we see from names like BlackRock, for an example. If we go back to just recently with Larry Fink and BlackRock, we know that their focus is on tokenization. We have Justin, BlackRock, and Citadel plan to launch a new national stock exchange in Texas to compete with the New York Stock Exchange. And if you guys did miss it, yeah, this is some pretty big news. I said that they are going to tokenize stocks and run a tokenized stock exchange. You could almost hear Wall Street panicking. This was always the plan, and BlackRock does not lose. Focus on what Larry Fink has been telling you and listen to it closely. They say a lot without truly telling you the plan. It's now unfolding in real time. And if we go over here and listen closely to what Larry Fink was telling us, he told us what to focus on. We believe the next step going forward will be the tokenization of financial assets. And that means every stock, every bond will have its own basically QCIP. It'll be on one general ledger. Every investor, you and I, will have our own number, our own identification. We could rid ourselves of all issues around illicit activities about bonds and stocks and digital by having a, 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 a tokenization. But the most important thing, we could customize strategies through tokenization that is, if it's every individual. We would have instantaneous settlement. Think about all the costs of settling bonds and stocks. Mm. But if you had a tokenization, everything would be immediate mm. because it's just a line item. And so we believe this is a technological transformation for financial assets. I believe if, if you want to talk about like voting and voting choice and all the things, if we know every moment who is the owner of that stock and it's now time to vote, every individual who has ownership is identified and they can vote their own share. 
I want you all to succeed this alt season. So I put together a full list of tools that you guys can utilize to track where the largest whales are putting their money in this space that could ultimately net you a ton of ROI. I'm also giving out 30 free crypto gems that are fully researched and even broken down into specific risk categories. Both of these guides are completely free. All you have to do is claim your access right now by utilizing one of the links down in the description below. What are you guys waiting for? Make sure that you guys have access to this, especially for this alt season that is nearing. So guys have it again, you know, as we look at this, we also just got a major announcement from Congress around this hearing titled Next Generation Infrastructure, How Tokenization of Real World Assets Will Facilitate Efficient Markets. So what all of this tells us is that the RWA sector is only going to get hotter and hotter and hotter. Now, I could easily go over here to rwa.xyz, go to the dashboard and just pick out five projects to name off and say, hey, there you guys have it. But that would be way too easy. And ultimately speaking, that's not how we find hidden gems because a lot of these projects are already starting to pump in a very large way and they already have a significant market cap behind them. So let's actually go in and look at some significant analytics and stats around the RWA sector and pick out some significant winners. So over here we have from dune.com. And by the way, guys, I'm giving out a ton of guides. You probably already got hit with the, you know, little clip. Yes, you should 100% get those free guides because it could help you capitalize on every single movement in this market and make sure that you are prepared for what comes next. But this is from dune.com and I have two, um, uh, two pages open. This is the first one, which is real world, real world asset lending and tokenized treasuries dashboard. And then this one is also a full breakdown of the RWA sector with some significant players uh, tied behind this. Now we can see all of the stats here. We can see product market cap by protocol. We could also see product market cap um, by protocol tokenized treasuries. Both of these are tokenized treasuries, but what we see on the left side and on the right side is a little bit of a different view. This one is not normalized, this one is. And we can see the difference in terms of the amount, and we can also see the difference in terms of the percentage. And we can actually see here that Ondo is the big leader at 55.2%, which is why Ondo is such a massive giant. And this is back in October. This is not up to date fully in terms of these two. But down here, this is up to date. This is current active loans. So again, the number one giant here in terms of active loans is obviously going to be um, Maker. Maker is at the top. Centrifuge is also there as well. But you know, as we really look at this, Maker is absolutely killing it. Uh, so definitely focus on Maker. But again, Maker's blue chip, one of the largest ones out there. Upside potential is really not significant. So let's actually look at a few things um, down here. So one that just recently started to climb um, is Clearpool. Clearpool has been making some rounds and uh, they have been growing a little bit. And I'm very excited to see this because, you know, just recently Clearpool has announced significant um, partnerships and also expansions, which is why I do think that they should definitely be focused on here. Um, and also down here, we could see some uh, growing demand around uh, Clearpool as well. Borrowing not too much, right? But over here, again, makers 100% of the monthly loan issued USD. We go back in time though, Clearpool was sitting at some significant percentages. And I do think that with a lot of the recent partnerships, they are going to start climbing the ranks again and also become a clear winner. Right now, a lot of the focus is just hyped around like some of the top projects like Ondo, Maker, uh, Centrifuge, Goldfinch, and a few other ones. That's why I'm really kind of looking at the ones that are getting overlooked right now that a lot of people are not talking about. And when we go over to this dashboard where we can see transactions, um, this is where we start to kind of pick and choose some winners. And I go by the percentages, right? So we could see the total percentage of weekly transactions here. And we can see the largest ones, Ondo still being number one. Again, Ondo is like the largest one out there the obvious like blue chip pick if you wanted to. Um, but we see some other ones growing on here. Number one that really kind of sticks out to me is Clima. Now this is actually one of the top picks. Clima Dow or Clima has been growing significantly. 
But what's crazy about this thing is that it's sitting at about a $33 billion market cap. Look at the, look at the supply on this thing. This thing has a lot more upside potential, in my opinion, especially considering the fact that it is starting to grow massively in weekly transactions, but not just weekly transactions. Even in RWA uh, transactions, percentage-wise, it is sitting at about roughly 8%. It's one of the largest ones on this list outside of Ondo. We're talking about Goldfinch, Centrifuge, Maple, blue chips in the space. Climate's at 8%. It's the second largest one on this list here in terms of percentage. Clima has been growing significantly. And also, we can see active users here, transaction numbers as well. And I like to go off of the active users because it shows that there is some dominance here. And as we look here, right, Proppy. Everyone knows about Proppy. It's, a, it's kind of a blue chip in terms of like re, real estate uh, tokenization. Clima has almost the same amount of active users in the week of June 3rd. It has the second largest amount of users. It almost has the same amount as Proppy as well. We're talking about Goldfinch on this list, Maple, TrueFi. This is why I'm focusing on Clima. And also in terms of the share of RWA transactions over time monthly, Clima is at 7.5%. It's the second largest one on this list. So keep a close eye out on Clima. Now, second is Credify or Credi. Now, this one is not significant on a lot of these lists. Like here we have, you know, Credi 0.9%. No, nothing too crazy there, right? Even um, on like DEX volume as well, Credi has like $87,000. Nothing too crazy. Even active users, I don't even think Credi makes a list. Yeah, it, does, it didn't even make the list here. Um, up here, we can see, again, you know, Credi's barely making these lists. But the reason why I'm putting Credi on the list, and it's one of my picks, is one, market cap wise, this thing has like $22 million in market cap, or it's like $21.2 million almost. Um, supply, 75% of the supply is already out there. Upside potential looks pretty good. I know that we're getting close to that all-time high, um, but the reason why I'm focused on Credi is because if you guys follow XRP and the XRP ledger, Credi has been starting to expand around the XRP ledger, but they've also been expanding outside of the XRP ledger as well, and uh, they've been moving pretty quick on the RWA space. I actually really like what Credify is doing. They're very early still in the stages, but I do think that this could very well be a blue chip very, very soon with how fast they are expanding. So definitely keep a close out on credit, especially with the market cap. This thing could fly. So focus on credit, credit, similar to Clima, similar market caps, right? The way that I look at these two, well, first off, Clima is absolutely rising in the ranks. Um, but the market cap for these two, when we are looking at like Ondo or Centrifuge or Maker, and the upside potential is insane. Now, third up on the list is one that's actually on these lists, and that is BCT. And if you guys don't know about BCT, it's two com protocol, base carbon ton. This thing, fifteen million dollar market cap. Again, I'm trying to find you guys the ones that are that no one's really talking about, no one's even looking at. And by the way, if you guys are scared about this chart, this thing launched at the end of the bull run in 2021. So it got absolutely slaughtered. But now that the RWA sector is heating up, I do think that we should focus on this one. Now, like I said, BCT is making the list here. Um, not in a very large way, 0.5% in terms of RWA transactions, but it is something. And it's starting to grow a little bit, which is something that I want to mention. Over here, in terms of weekly transactions, again, 58, nothing too crazy, but it is still something when we are comparing it to other projects that are on this list. Down here, we can see a few things as well um, in terms of some of these uh, transactions. Like, for example, again, this is transaction numbers RWA to kind of add about roughly like 58, something too crazy, but in terms of active users, 42. When we're comparing this to TrueFi or Maple or Clearpool, Swarm Markets, Goldfinch, it seems as though they're growing significantly here, which is a big plus one, which is why I did want to include them. 
also um they are they, they do have a decent share nothing too crazy here of the share of the rwa transactions over time i do think that we're going to start to see ondo by the way i do think that the the dominance is going to shift from ondo and it's going to trickle down the list here so that's why i'm also looking at some of these lower ones that no one's really focused on so i do think that this one definitely needs to get mentioned um now next up on the list is clearpool Again, as we look at Clearpool, this one's a little bit more higher on the market cap scale, um, but they are expanding rapidly. They are announcing like partnership after partnership. Uh, they definitely need to be up there in terms of conversation as we bring up like Ondo, for an example, because I do think that Clearpool will be just as big, if not you know, possibly bigger because of the moves being made. And they're collaborating with some very big industry leaders. And if we look at some of the list here, you know, Clearpool's not like absolutely killing it um, in terms of weekly transactions. But I do want to mention that they're at 469. When we're looking at Goldfinch or Maple or Centrifuge or TrueFi, guys, 469. It's more than those. It's more than a lot of the 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 big blue chips on this list, like even Propy for an example, or um Propy for an example. Now, outside of that RWA transactions over here, we could also see Cpool. Clearpool, right? 4.1%. Way more than Goldfinch, Centrifuge. I mean, it's not as much as Ondo at 52.8%, but it is growing and it has been growing over time. We could even look at the previous, you know, weeks. If we go back in time, like, you know, Seapool just recently, you know, had like about roughly like almost 7%. This is why I say like Ondo just recently started to gain a lot of momentum and take the dominance away from some of these uh, other projects like Seapool, for an example. But I do think that that's going to change um, in time. Now, active users, again, Clearpool, not too much. Not too much at all. Um, I know recently they did have uh, more than just what they have on the list now, which is like one. Um, but I do think that they are going to grow more, like I said, once dominance kind of shifts around Ondo onto these other chains. Um, but also in terms of share of the RWA transactions over time on the monthly, uh, we could see down here. So Cpool had about roughly like 3.9%, which is a very good plus one because as we look at some of these other projects, like for an example, I bring up Goldfinch a lot, Centrifuge as well, um, SMP, SMT, um, even Ohm, right? uh mantra it's pretty much right around the same uh point so again i do want to mention clear pull significantly now next up on the list is strike x i do think that strike x will be very very successful um not only just from like the standpoint of the chart looks very solid uh market cap sub 50 million but because of the stats here as we look at um strike x we could see 655 weekly transactions. It's about the same as OM or Mantra. And if we go over here, okay, and look at Mantra, look at the market cap difference here. Guys, we're talking about sub 50 million versus 737 million, 825 million FDV. That's pretty crazy, okay? And it's right up there in terms of weekly transactions with OM, okay? And they've been growing rapidly in terms of transactions. Over here, strike X, 5.7%, more than OM in terms of RWA transactions. Now, if we come down here to the share of RWA transactions over time, um, you could probably already see it as well. So we can see strike X, 5.5%, again, just a little under OM, okay? And they've been growing. Outside of some of the blue chips on this list, they've been killing it. Now, also in terms of weekly uh, DEX volume down here, we can see some of these projects like StrikeX, $35,000, or, or sorry, uh, $209.7,000. I was reading Factor, um, which is very big when we compare it to, you know, Proppy, or we compare it to, um, you know, some of these other projects like TrueFi or Goldfinch. Uh, Maple is a little bit higher because, again, Maple is like one of the largest loan um, projects out there. But as we look at this, right, like the projects that I brought up, like Clima, right, almost $1 million. Credi, 87.6K, nothing too crazy there. Um, Tucon, BCT, 
61,000. Mantra, right? If we look at Mantra for an example, 3. Point almost $4 million. So when we, when we compare Mantra to some of these other projects that are starting to gain some steam, we can kind of see the difference here. Like, Clima is almost at 1 million. Mantra has 3.4 million. Mantra also has almost $1 billion market cap. Clima has $33 million. That's why I wanted to bring up these smaller projects. This is why I do think that they will be very big. Like Seapool, uh, Clima, Credi, Tucon, StrikeX. Like, a lot of these are sub $100 million market cap because I don't want to just show you guys the 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 typical projects like oh hey go invest into onda which has over like a billion dollar plus market cap like i want to give you guys some of these early projects that are just starting to have their nice like bull flag formation waiting for that next big spike to the upside so i do think that these are five great projects to be looking into st statistical wise like the data here is not lying to us these are projects that are starting to gain momentum, starting to gain traction around the RWA uh, sector. And as we really look at this, right, it's going to continue to heat up because it's now making its way into Congress. We're now starting to see, you know, BlackRock and Citadel planning to launch this new stock exchange, which I do believe will have tokenized stocks on it because they've already told us the to plan. So I do think that RWA in terms of TVL is going to heat up in a very large way, which will also bleed down the list onto, you know, some of these great projects to start gaining momentum, start gaining users and value you know trading over their platforms this is going to be a game changer so definitely look into these projects that could possibly net you massive amounts of gains and if you guys do want more content like this if you guys do want to get more insights into the market as well definitely join that discord it's completely free so you're not you know putting up any capital or anything like that join the free discord it is so valuable but also if you guys did enjoy the video definitely leave a like subscribe to notifications on some more free content because you're more welcome to follow me on twitter and join the free discord in the description below and with that being said guys it's been nick thanks for watching peace out